you guys is a quick review on Jump Desktop app for your iPhone, iPad, and MacBook. So throughout the whole video, I'm going to show you how everything looks like. Now, this is a bit fast forward, so don't worry about it, but you will see everything. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how it looks on your iPad. Uh, lastly, on your iPhone, and in the middle, I'm going to show you how you can manage your computers. Um, control them throughout your MacBook, okay, and other. So first of all, it with two screens, it's kind of difficult because it does become a really long screen. So here on my iMac, I have two screens for it. That's the only problem that I see. It's easy to control it with your iPad. However, um, if you try to control two screens with uh, your MacBook, it becomes a little bit of a problem, okay? With the app, since you cannot choose just to control one screen or the other, it shows both. You can always zoom in and out. It's um, easier to zoom in and out with your iPad than with your MacBook as you will see right now. I'm gonna connect up to my iMac and it's really long. It's a little bit harder to control two screens just because of zoom in and out, okay? Other than that, the app's really good. I do recommend it. Um, once again, once you download it for your iPad or iPhone, you can use it for either or. You don't have to buy it twice. Uh, for your Mac, just to control the screens. As you can see, um, the resolution is excellent. The other person doesn't have to have a really good connection. However, they they do need a decent connection. Now, you, when, once you control it with your iPhone and stuff like that, you do need to change some resolution settings, uh, depending on your data plan. Anyways, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. You s do see some lagginess. Um, however, that's normal with any program uh, when you're trying to control your computer from far away. Okay, um, you do need internet connection for this. That's how it works. Uh, to any computer that you want to control, you can download the app for free. Okay, so it's just an app that you download, install on your computer, and that way you can um, just using your Gmail, you can control it. Okay, um, so only install it on computers that you want to control. Um, so you could, you know, put it on ten computers, for example, and control those. Only you need the program. Um, only you need to buy it if uh, you want to control several computers. So here's just a little quick test so you can see how laggy or not it is. It's not really. As you can see, if I put play on a video from one, I can see in the other one just fine. It doesn't really lag. Um, that's just so you guys can see see that um, here I'm just putting some videos I've done before so you can see that lagginess that's really getting the way now on your iPhone it's very small but that's just the way it is I mean it, an iPhone is quite small so you will see only the computers that are hooked up to uh, the internet right now uh, if they're turned off you cannot turn it on with this app okay um, if it's on standby or the displays off it will turn back on once you log into it so that's cool and that's good that that works fine I seen some other programs that are not working as good as this one to uh, turn on the screen once it's off so as you can see it's very small on your iPhone and stuff it's yeah it's harder to control your computer from your iPhone obviously it's the small screen however you can um, I mostly use it on my iPad when I use it on my iPhone it's just to check up uh, if I'm downloading something and I just need to turn off my computer if it's done downloading or uploading videos onto YouTube and I'm upstairs or away from my computer that's how I do it I've done it through 3G network it works just fine I've had to change the resolution but I usually just have it at the highest because that's what I like to see anyways that's it for this app if you like the video please uh, leave a comment down here and don't forget to subscribe and rate guys any questions once again down here below on the comments area thank you